What is up guys, today we found a $3 buffet, like bro, $3? And afterwards we went exploring this abandoned nice city, and then I'm gonna take out the outro, let's go! And I released a song today, so I went, wanted to uh, go outside and get some food with my grandparents. I found this like $3 buffet that was kind of like in walking distance, so we were like, let's try it. <laughs> so all the food they have is basically like your um, quote unquote traditional like expected food in China, which is like mostly stir fried. Uh, highly vegetable based um, dishes and there's usually fried like stir fried noodles some of the more uh, meat based dishes are over like uncle <laughs> paywall which is kind of like you get like one for free but if you want more you have to pay a little bit extra but like everything else is practically all you can eat and they'll always have the essentials like rice soup a porridge of some sort and I assume they wrap our plates in like this plastic bag so they can minimize the washing process. Um, overall not too bad for value's sake but I do feel like the taste was a little bit uh, underwhelming. So I'm at a place where I was told it used to be a really busy little uh, street food place. But as you can see, there's clearly something wrong here and kind of unsettling. But that's precisely why I wanted to come to see for myself what is going on here. Like I know this place is called uh, Yecheng, which is nice city and we're here at daytime. But um, if you take like one look at like the condition on the furniture, something tells me people are not coming here at night either. I don't remember exactly when I used to um, like walk around in this vicinity, but I do not remember this. I kind of suspect it has something to do with COVID, but like then and again, this is 2023. What's even more weird is that there's like a single vendor still here. And by the way, this is like next to a really busy street too. A lot of these places, like these little cars look like abandoned for years. And it seems to go like for an entire mile or something. But yeah, if anyone knows what's up with that, please let me know. Otherwise, <laughs> let's go to outro now, somewhere less weird. Here you'll find a combination of group of like just restaurants, shops, uh, pharmacies, uh, groceries, uh, anything you can think of really. And you'll probably notice the streets are filled with these like blue and yellow boys. Um, they're the I guess quote unquote uber people of China. I can make a video about that if you guys want, but they're the delivery people. This one's playing with a dog. Dude, I am so intrigued by this. What did they mean? What did they do? By the way, these arches, they light up overnight, so we we'll definitely have to uh, come back here at night to show y'all. 
okay, that's not even a translation of the Chinese word. What does this mean? Oh, wait, I almost just tripped on that traffic cone. Fun fact, uh, subway is very different here than in the US. I'll do a review one day. Also, guys, there's some bakery over there. Alright, are you guys ready for some rat activities? We're gonna sneak into some of these little buildings. Usually places like this, they have like um, entire areas inside where you can find so many shops and restaurants. They'll not be on the outside, you'll have to just enter. As I was walking, I kind of accidentally like stumbled into like an entrance to the back rooms. There was this really creepy, really, really creepy hallway. These stores were putting F in a chat for me. Okay, that was enough rat activities. Let's go somewhere safe and not freaking back with me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Before anyone gets mad about Starbucks being here as well, just just wait. There's another place. That's even more annoying to see. There are some really cool um like dandelion type thingies in like the entrance area. I believe these things light up at night. So we might have to return here at night one time to see it. And from here you can see the sky tower in the distance. Just of a forewarning for future videos, you're gonna see a lot of looking coffee jump scares. I swear they're literally every corner of China. Another interesting thing is you'll see a lot of these expensive vehicles, but like bro, what's the occasion looking coffee? <laughs> There's a really unsettling unused like amusement park just in the corner of this place. Like bro, no kid is getting on this. Every single kid that, that's gotten on this has been teleported to the back rooms. But yeah, that will be it for today's adventure. I'm in like the very beginning stages of this vlog. I'm, I'm confused, dude. Like, I don't know what pacing is. I don't know if I'm supposed to have a schedule or something. I'm just like videotaping where I go. But I guess let's see how that works out. And thank you anyone for your support. Bonus clip for anyone that's been here this long. I'm gonna show y'all a little thingy that I found that's pretty cool. It's a sign dedicated to me. Not really, but I found this during 2020 when I was here during like COVID. Um, it kind of actually gave me the idea for a name. Just a little lore, a little origin story if you will. I don't even know what this shop is. It's so weird. <laughs>